Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ace Noodle. Today I'm going to teach you how, how, about how to use CSS and its benefits. First of all, what is CSS? It stands for Cascading Style Sheets, which is used to style almost everything in .html content. How to adapt CSS file? To adapt .css to HTML, we first need to type these attributes between body and head. Bear in mind that the half parts should be the place where the file is saved. What happens if the not having the attribute typed? Now we have the settings of H2 and P's word as red. As you can see, with the attribute, it can work perfectly. Now we delete the attribute and let's see what happens. As you can see, the words will turn black as is the default color. The format of CSS syntax. The format is printed on the subtitles and bottom left window. Basic use of CSS syntax. Color style. Now I'll set the word color in H2 as red and P as lime. As you can see in Chrome, the word color of H2 turn to red and P changes in color lime. In addition to, you can use hexadecimal code to generate a new color. As you can see, the color is almost the same. Also, you can use three pairs of 00 to add to FF to generate your own color. Background styling. Background syntax is basically to make the words background to have a layer of color. Also, you can apply the same value just like color syntax. It results in this form. Font size styling. Font size syntax allows you to adjust the size of the text. It comes with three different forms of units, four forms of them, like PX representing pixel in H2 and PT representing point in P. And you can see this the difference. Although H2 comes the largest size originally, this does not affect the output size. Now I change H2 to PT point. And you can see there's no difference between H2 and P in font size. Now I change unit points to percent. And you can see the text become extremely small. The last unit in is representing inch. And you will see the text become extremely large. The size of unit comes in this comparison. For me, I usually use pixel to style the text. Now is the part of text aligning. It comes with field value also. CH2 is typed in center and P typed with right. And you can see the fat results. H2 align center, P align right. Herf styling. The normal A styling can use the same one in H2 or P. You can see the Herf Google turns into black and enlarged to 25 pixel in this moment. Not only the normal ones, you can also style the Herf word according to the Herf status. A colon length for fit unvisited. A colon visited for visited lengths. A colon hover for the length with mouse on it, but it is not pressed. It. A column active is for active links. And let's see the results now. When the link is not visited, you can see Google in black. And when the link is visited, it turned line. And when the mouse is put onto the link, it turned red and enlarged due to the value change. The benefits of using CSS. 
I found CSS you need to type, type, and type to style your content only using HTML ones. However, in CSS you can have different styling and manage your different style and it is very convenient. Let's revise what you have learned today. Most important is the format of CSS. And it's the adaption of CSS into HTML. Remember to type this attribute to between head and body. Color styling. Background styling. Font size styling in four different units. Align and last but not least, a herf styling. Thanks for watching my video. Using division with ID on it will be the best to manage different CSS styling in your website, and you can create very cool website. Remember to close the vision every time you need to define one part. Use F12 buttons on browsers and you can see the HTML and you can always see the vision in the body of their website. Thanks for watching with my video and and sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button. See you next time.